Marcus Conte reporting. Got a really big show for you today. Really big show for you today. So uh, here we are, July, mid-July, July 13, the heat of the summer. Hot as hell in New York. Haven't been to the beach once. Uh, so we'll talk about uh, we'll talk about Acosta, Alex Acosta. The I told you would be a key figure, a key uh, player in Pedogate, in this new uh, Pedogate stuff with uh, Jeffrey Epstein. Resigned yesterday. Trump took his resignation. They did a big speech out on the uh, out on the lawn. Look at that. Bernie Sanders rising. Bernie Sanders, motherfuckers rising. Man. This shit is like from out of nowhere, right? We thought Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders has been kind of quiet uh, lately, right, because of the crowded debate field. So we'll take a look at what he's uh, doing now, some good stuff. And we'll uh, look uh, uh, a little suspect in the uh, Jen Moore murder um, mystery. The uh, Jen Moore murder, my new uh, suspect, has been spotted on the streets of New York. We'll talk about that in a second, too. So uh, let's look at uh, who do we want to look at first. Let's look at Bernie rising. Bernie Sanders throwing up. Fucking cunt kick to Donald Trump. Not really, though. He didn't throw he, anything where Bernie Sanders is rising or talking about himself and making himself look good is a cunt kick to Donald Trump. Because ultimately, again, as I said, if Trump, if Bernie Sanders, if the Democrats don't cheat him and Bernie Sanders becomes the, uh, the nominee, he will be Trump, regardless of the polls right now. Polls are fake. It's Nate Silver at 538. Those guys, rigged, they rigged the polls. So... What's going on? Let's look at Bernie Sanders, man. This, this, um, this, this is what I'm talking about, right? See, this is Bernie Sanders par excellence. Look at this messaging right here. So he puts out a video, uh, I think yesterday, not even 8,000 views, right on his site uh, called A Living Wage. Let's watch two minutes. My name is Kelly Osborne. I'm a 44-year-old single mother. I also raise a grandson that's five years old all by myself. If I didn't have him, I probably wouldn't be here. I would have nothing to survive for. Nothing. He's my special angel. I work for McDonald's for $8.25 an hour, and it's just not a living wage. I'm not making it. I'm a stage four cancer survivor. The last 12 to 15 years of my life, I've been fighting cancer. If I miss a paycheck, I'm screwed. I would literally become homeless. Iowa is a lot of working people, hardworking people. Farmers can't make it. Regular workers can't make it. We're just struggling. The whole state is. After paying rent, I barely have enough money to put food on the table and do the other things I need, like put shoes on my grandchild's feet. I live in such a small apartment, I have to go outside to change my mind. Well, my grandson has to sleep in the living room. His name is Ryden, and he is five years old, and he's partially autistic. What I would like to see for him when he gets older and gets a job is union rights, is $15 an hour, so he can survive. I work 30 to 40 hours a week, and I still can't make ends meet. And we need to stop it now. We need to make things better for everybody now, not in the future, now. McDonald's is a fight for millions of working class people who are sick and tired of working longer hours for lower wages. They are sick and tired of not being able to afford rent or health care or child care for their children. And today we say as loudly and clearly as we can to McDonald's, Pay your workers a living wage and negotiate with a union. Yeah! Ugh. Now you talk about you talk about a you talk about messaging, right? You might not agree with that shit, but that is the that is the heart and soul of the problem here. Income and wealth inequality, working Working crazy hours for, for, for minimum wage, eight bucks an hour, you can't make a living. Right? And, you, you know, someone said in the comments yesterday, you drive around Florida, there's all, all these uh, old people working until the day they drop, you know, they can't, they can't survive on, on their uh, Social Security that, has been, that goes down as the cost of living goes up. So Bernie Sanders gets, you know, amazing, amazing. Uh, uh, I mean, it's not, it's not exciting, it's not sexy. But it hits you in the heart. Right? That's some. That's some. How do you? How do you? How does Trump 
What does Trump do? Turn around and say, oh, you're a socialist, right? When, when you message like that, Trump turns around and Bernie says, you're a socialist because you're for the people? Right? It doesn't work. It falls flat. So it's good stuff. So here's, a, here's another interesting Bernie Sanders. Two, two ball kicks for Bernie yesterday, man. Solid connecting ball kicks. So Lloyd Blankfein, Lloyd Blankfein was the former CEO for Goldman Sachs. Right, right through the whole bailout shit, the whole debacle, how they, they almost sunk the country of Greece. They, you know, so many, so much corruption at Goldman Sachs stealing money, right? They took uh, Bear Stearns out. They took down AIG. You know, they, they like, you know, they, you know, Jewish New York. They went right to the White House and, you know, and d- cried victim, give us $50 billion, right? That's Lloyd Blankfein. Right? So, so Lloyd Blankfein says, don't know why Senator Sanders picks on a retiree like me. He retired, uh, blank fine. I think he's always looked down on me because he grew up in a fancier neighborhood in Brooklyn. <laughs> right, so Bernie Sanders fires back. Actually, my concern has to do with the fact that you had no problem getting bailed out by working Americans while you've been picking on them by advocating for cutting Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. Pow! Ball kick. Ball kick. So Bernie Sanders uh, still on message, you know, nothing's changed. Bernie Sanders, you don't hear him running around chasing pedo gate, but, uh, you know, just talking about the issues, talking about policy for the people. So that's Bernie. So let's talk about uh, Acosta resigning. Here's Trump uh, and Acosta. It looks like the White House lawn or something, and uh, here you go. I got a call this morning early from Alex, and I think he did a very good job yesterday. Under a lot of pressure, he did a fantastic job. And he explained it. He made a deal that people were happy with, and then 12 years later, they're not happy with it. You'll have to figure all of that out. But the fact is, he has been a fantastic Secretary of Labor. And Alex called me this morning, and he wanted to see me. And I I actually said, well, we have the press right out here, so perhaps you just want to say it to the press. Uh, But I just want to let you know, this was him, not me, because I'm with him. He was a, he's a tremendous talent. He's a Hispanic man. He went to Harvard, a great student. And in so many ways, I just hate what he's saying now because we're going to miss him. But please, Alex. Thank you, Mr. President. Over the last week, I've seen a lot of coverage of the Department of Labor. And what I have not seen is the incredible job creation that we've seen in this economy. More than 5 million jobs. I haven't seen that workplace injuries are down, fucking a three-year trend. Workplace fatalities are down, fucking a three-year trend. That we had the safest year ever in mining, the lowest number of fatalities ever in mining. We're 12 years old, that has input and vetting at multiple levels of the Department of Justice. And as I look forward, I do not think it is right and fair for this administration's Labor Department to have Epstein as the focus rather than the incredible economy that we have today. And so I called the president this morning. I told him that I thought the right thing was to step aside. Done deal. Done deal. Acosta has stepped aside, right, in the Pedogate uh, debacle. Bye-bye. Have a nice trip, Jaggy. So there's other stuff. Um, Let's talk some more about uh, Pedogate a a little bit more. Acosta reportedly claimed Jeffrey Epstein. There's more to it. There's there's probably a couple of reasons why he's stepping down so quickly. Uh, Belonged to intelligence. Jeffrey Epstein, quote, belonged to intelligence. This is a report I, I can't confirm. It's Zero Hedges reporting it. If you want to look at the uh, look at it, there it is. There's the title. Go find it yourself. <laughs> In that piece, I shared my lesser known but extreme bizarre facts about Jeffrey Epstein and the people around him. It goes on to say um, that that Epstein said, "I was told Epstein be- quote belonged to intelligence and to leave it alone." He told his interviewers in the Trump transition, who event- eventually thought uh, that was sufficient answer and went ahead and hired Acosta. So a lot more coming out, right? There's a lot more. I don't want to get too deep into this because it can't be confirmed, and uh, or maybe it can be confirmed. But then nonetheless, right? Who is who's who's kicking who? Is it the Democrats kicking the Republicans, or is the Republicans kicking the Democrats? In this case, it appears that it would be a Democrat kicking the Republicans. So to cut Acosta loose 
and and sever him on good terms with Trump is is you know skilled stuff, right? You give him a, a deal out the back, say yeah yeah yeah, you won't be a labor secretary, but we'll we'll, we'll hook you up somewhere else, right? So uh, so so that so there's that. Um, he said not to tell anyone how Trump kept tabs on Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, he has another little scandal between a little dust up between. I feel like I'm the National Enquirer now with this story, right? But you got to get all the you got to get all the facts. Who said what? It is it is Epstein does affect politics at a high level right now because of the Clinton stuff. Clinton now says uh, I was only on the plane four times. Caught, you know the record shows that he was on the plane 26 times. There's a lot of lying going on. A minimum of 26 times. Now Trump at one point said he's a terrific guy. You remember a terrific guy? Now he's saying. Um, uh, then he said in 2015 he said. Nice guy, Trump said. Got a lot of problems coming up, in my opinion, with the famous island with Jeffrey Epstein. He added, seemingly veering off subject. Uh, so so Bill, he was talking about Bill Clinton's problems with the island. Uh, so, so there is, I mean, is this a Trump orchestration to lock up his friend Jeffrey Epstein? I don't know. Je- so far, it looks like, you know, Trump won Democrats nothing because you cannot talk about you can't talk about Donald Trump and Epstein and any pedophilia that Trump may have been on on that plane or somewhere without talking about Bill Clinton being on the plane 26 times. So I would say that, that um, Trump is the president. Bill Clinton is the former president. Bill Clinton has nothing to lose. You know, he's already smeared and, tar, uh, you know, tar and feathered, right? So... So we got to revisit. So that's 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 pedo gay. Let's revisit this uh, nonsense one more time, right? So he, there's there's this um, the the murder murder one, <laughs> not the murder one one, but possibly manslaughter uh, uh, suspect in Jen Moore now swings to Jason Goodman. Now I'm not making it up. I know it sounds crazy, but he really, if you look at the previous videos, I outlined the connection that he had to Jen Moore and the suspicious reason why he has avoided this investigator who investigated that case. Right, so, uh, reporter that investigated that case. I'm not an investigator. All right, so, the allegation now is that that um, Goodman, you remember the video. I'm not going to play with the sound because it's stupid. All right, he attacks me with the umbrella, boom, tries to knock my eyeball out for asking him a question. Now, the, the question is, the question becomes, did what, what, what Goodman and his, his corrupt team are trying to say is that that there was there's something transpired before that. It's simply not the case, right? So if you look at, if you go to edit video, I'll prove it to you right now. Jason Goodman was broadcasting when I when I made the conscious effort decision to go and disrupt his broadcast, right? To get in his face and ask him some questions. Did George Webb fucking yes? You know all the the questions about homosexuality that need to be asked so that we can clear this mess up, right? Um, he was. You know, that happened after this happened, right? Can I prove it? Right. Because Jason Goodman's, Jason Goodman broadcasted at 9 a.m. And that episode happened towards the end of the event, almost after 10 a.m., right? So my video, this video, this occurred about, I don't know, about 8.15 in the morning and was posted a little after that. Can I prove it? Yeah. So here's the video. I go to edit, right? Let's go to edit. And you could see right here, right? This is, this is what my back back end looks like, right? Uploaded time, January 8th, that's Monday, at 8.41 a.m. So the record is clear. There's the, there is the, uh, there's the evidence, right? That's how, that's uh, what time the upload was, right? And that was almost a half an hour after I shot the video because I don't do, I don't go live. So, so I'm, I'm making my video and then I have to stop and upload, right? So it was uploaded, you know, maybe it took maybe 20 minutes to upload. All right, so 841, confirmed, right? Go back again. You want to see it again? So here's the video, all right? I click on edit, right? There's no Photoshop stuff going on here. There's the evidence right there, right? 841 a.m. So the, the notion that, that somehow, uh, right, so that I, I, I said something to him, I hadn't seen him until that moment, right? So so that's that's out of the way. So Jason Goodman, in fact, has been spotted, right? This is a very interesting uh, character right here, right? Where is he? So so um, 
right. So here he is, right? So so this guy, I forgot his name, man. I'm gonna try to find him right now. The uh, found him, did a video, did a video on on Goodman, right? And because he was following him around with uh, he was following him around with a camera. I forgot the guy's name. I want to give him credit for it. I, oh, here it is. Here it is. So. So let's uh, uh, Jericho D. Jericho D. Go to his little site over there. He's got a couple of subscribers doing good. Hit the hit the subscribe, and he did a video, right? He did a video, and in that video, right, we found we've look look what we find in the video. There's oh my god, there he is, right? He's at the the gay pride parade. Is that? I don't know. He's talking about George Webb. Who the hell cares about George freaking Webb, right? And there's one other. Oh god damn, that's scary, man. You're scaring me now. He's scaring me. Who's this guy? Fucking cares. All right, but look what happens, right? Holy shit, there he is. There he is. Wow. There he is, Mr. Jason Goodman, the suspect number one who refuses to answer the question, why was he in Washington, D.C. the night of Jen Moore, and why did he possibly punch her in the chest? What was the, what was the, what was the uh, reason for all of that, right? What was the whole reason for that, right? Was it a love triangle? Did he love George? We shall find out. So I'm thinking about I'm thinking about doing a uh, release of this book. If you if you're interested in in a, maybe a paper copy, I want to make a limited run, maybe 25 copies signed, right? And um, and uh, sell them out the back door, raise a little money selling so, selling some books. There's no print copies of this book. Uh, you can get the PDF for free. But if you want a printed copy, I'd be happy to uh, print a few, sign it. Throw some stickers on the deal, right? Deliver it to your door, you know, set a price, I don't know, 15 bucks, 20 bucks. Figure it out, whatever the cost of it is. So, um, so Marcus Conte reporting, we're going to, you know, I think my, my, the biggest exciting story today is, uh, is that Bernie Sanders is punching back. He's, he's there, he's present. Um, we, we shall see, you know, as, as things uh, progress. Uh, we need that, we need that message at the, at the top of the top. We need a scandal free, a uh, human being uh, in the White House. So Marcus Conte reporting. Kindly become a Patreon of this channel at uh, patreon.com and, uh, and or uh, PayPal, make a one-time contribution. Marcus Conte reporting.